Sharing your passion and your beliefs is a beautiful thing until it turns ugly. Here to share more on how to communicate with Courtesy, author of a new book, I'm Just Saying, The Art of Civil Discourse, Milan Kordestani. Milan, good morning, and, and thank you for coming by today. Good morning, thank you for can, having me. Can I order this book in like bulks and give it to, to <laughs> the entire planet right now? I was just having this conversation, Milan, with a lot of people. It just seems like everybody's changed and people are so angry and just so hurtful towards each other. What is going on? You know, when I wrote this book, I didn't actually intend for it to end up in the anger management category, <laughs> but they, that's actually where they ended up placing it and, and yeah. where it did well, because that's the truth, right? Like when you're not able to connect with people and have the important conversations you need to have in your life, uh, you, you end up really frustrated and angry and lonely. Yeah, there are rules that you say that, are, that need to be followed to have an open conversation with people. And in a day and age where it's really hard for us to talk to one another, there's a lot of yelling, there's a lot of insulting, there's a lot of bullying, there's a lot of anger. Right. How do you go back to the basics? What are the basic rules to just talking to someone? The basic rules, I mean, they're really tools. And there's a list I, I teach in the book, but they're, they're simple philosophies. And so they start with like active listening. And that means really listening to someone with the intent of understanding who they are and what they're saying better. Um, there is, uh, you know, there's having trust in people and trusting that they are capable of having civil discourse with you, finding common ground with them. Um, and there are, there's a few others that I teach, like meditation, because one of the biggest challenges is your own reflection, right? Realizing why you got angry, why you let things become uncivil in a conversation, um, because it really, it takes two. With the birth of social media, and I experienced this personally over the past 15 years, it has become such an environment of um, sat, like anger. Hmm. And right now this conversation is being had with threads coming up from Instagram. Right. And a lot of, you hear a lot of people saying Twitter, it was just so toxic, it's so hateful there. And Twitter or threads is saying this is going to be a more kind, <laughs> a kinder way to, for our people to be able to communicate. Uh, can we get back there again? I think we can, but I don't think it's the platform's fault. I actually think that these platforms, these social media platforms, are reflections of us as a society. And it's easier, because there's a keyboard and it's not face-to-face, -to, -face, to get angry and to let the conversations become uncivil. But the truth is that we have to show up better, and we have to create a culture that doesn't need to respond instantly to every you know, headline and feel like we have to have an opinion that's formulated immediately. or. Um, be so reactive, right? Like, there is a challenge with having all of this information constantly coming at us. And part of what I talk about in this book is that we have to teach the skills to young people and cultivate a culture where it's not about just reacting constantly, um, but being really thoughtful with how we respond and what we respond to. I don't know sometimes, uh, Milan, the older generation, if you can teach them you know, ways that they're just so used to. But a younger generation is learning, and this is what their life is all about, and teaching them to communicate. I'm the mother to four young children. What would be your advice you would give me that I can teach about communicating uh, with others? I would teach that it's important and that they should care about effective communication because it'll help create more connections with other people in their lives. And the antithesis of that is being rather lonely. And we have a loneliness epidemic what does right that now. Mean? Um, being lonely. Being lonely. When you're not able to connect with people who are different from yourself, or you're yes. not able to have those effective conversations, you end up thinking that everyone is the other, and that everyone is different from you, and that, um, that, that creates a feeling of isolation and loneliness, and especially in like a, a culture, especially mm -hmm. in the US, a Western culture, that tends to be more individualistic. Um, that ends up being really you know, detrimental to your mental health. So it's really important to be able to be optimistic about the people that you're going to meet in life and be able to connect with them. Well, I'm looking forward to reading uh, this book because I think there's a, a lot to be learned uh, and thought about in here. Milan Kordestani, the book is called I'm Just Saying, and it's available everywhere? Can everywhere. You get it? Everywhere. All right, friends, you can look it up, and we'll get the information on our website, foxeyesandiego.com. Click the scene on tap. Milan, thank you. Thank Lovely you for having to me. Meet you.